We have breaking news on Amazon. Kate Rooney has the details. Kate. Hey there, Morgan. Amazon just announcing its latest version of a custom-designed chip. This is within AWS, Amazon Web Services. It's the fourth generation of an existing semiconductor called Graviton. These are CPUs, so specifically designed for more everyday general-purpose computing. So think of things like running websites and data centers, for example. These are not those AI chips known as GPUs. Executives at Amazon say this newer version brings 30% better performance versus some of the previous generations. They say it uses 60% less energy to process the same workloads. If you compare that with an Intel x86 processor, which is what the vast majority of customers use at this point, all of that, they say, helps keep costs down. Amazon is partnering with ARM for the chip architecture, while AWS is working on its own in-house chips. It still partners with Intel and AMD on CPUs. I asked Dave Brown, AWS's VP of Compute and Networking Services, about that balance. You might call this co-opetition. He does say that those partnerships continue to get deeper, and the customers just want choice. So when the customer comes to AWS, they're able to look at, you know, do they want to use an Intel processor, an AMD processor, an NVIDIA accelerator, or do they look, want to look at one of the custom ones that AWS has? And they typically test them all, um, and they will find the one that works absolutely best for their application. And I think that choice is, is so important for customers, and it allows them to find the one that not only gives them the right performance for what they need, but also at the right price point. And so we do think that uh, the choice is a winning strategy. And guys, Graviton is still a relatively small portion of the chips that AWS customers use right now. They still mostly rely on Intel and AMD, but it is seen as an area with a lot of potential upside within AWS. Back over to you. Kate, uh, in the grocery store of IT, this is like buying the store brand milk or mac and cheese, <laughs> right? I mean, you, you get a better value, and if the quality is there, it can also be more profitable for the hyperscaler that's providing the chip. Yeah, I like that analogy. It's sort of the Kirkland brand, right? And so they're making a trade-off. I mean, they, the big picture that executives would say is that it's keeping costs down, and that's what AWS customers want in the long run. But it is sort of an experiment at this point. It's a smaller portion of the chips that, that most AWS customers are using. And so they pointed out it was 2 million chips out there, about 50,000 customers. On a, this, it sounds like a big scale, but if you put it in context of overall AWS and how many customers are out there, it is still relatively small. So it's still sort of unproven, but it is a big bet. I mean, this is one side of the business, CPUs and sort of the general computing, but then there are the AI chips that they've got out there. I know you talked to Matt Garman about this with Inferentia and Tranium and the other side of the chip uh, side of this, this coin, but they really, along with other big tech companies, are making a play at in-house chips and really trying to diversify here and sort of trying to start the balance of still partnering with Intel and AMD, maintaining those relationships, but building their own competitive chips in-house. It's sort of the same dynamic we see with AI as well, and what yeah. they do with Bedrock. You're still going to stock that Kraft mac and cheese, too. <laughs> exactly. Uh, sure. you got to have it all. <laughs> Annie's and Kraft. you got to have both. <laughs>